Hey, hey, Crips here, and as always, thanks for joining me. Not sure why you do, though. Anyway, um, one of the things we always want to do is remove background in pictures. Uh, whatever, for whatever reason, maybe there's someone in the background we don't want, or we want to just make it look cool. Okay, so how do we do that in PaintShop Pro? Well, there's a couple of ways to do it, but I'm going to show you a really neat little plugin that you can get from Topaz Labs called Topaz Remask. So recently they had a promotion going for around Paint Shop Pro and I had a look at it and I came across the remask and I was quite impressed with it. At first I wasn't but now that I've been using it I think it's a quite a neat little plugin. So let's sh let's get cracking and show you a demonstration only not a tutorial on how to use it just to see if it's worth it. So let's have a look. Go into your effects, plugins, Topaz Labs. Here we go Topaz Remask 3. All right, so this is the user interface. As you can see, uh, by default, you get a green overlay and with the brush already set at blue. And what you need to do is just outline with the blue brush what it is you want to keep, like so. I mean, if there's a lot of interest in this filter, I, I'll do a more in-depth tutorial on it. But honestly, I think you're going to work out how to use it anyway just by this little demonstration here. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, like that, da, 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 da. Okay, well here we've got something interesting, the glasses. Let's go one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to hold down my uh, space bar and the crater here and I can see it. Now, see how I've got... The eye is distorted, but it's still... I can see the background, so I need to also include that. So, first let me just do this, and then let's do this, okay? All right, let's go back on to... Oh, that's good. Sorry, zoom back out. There you go. And I'm just going to finish it off like so. All right, now we're done. All right, I'm going to grab the fill bucket here, which is the red one. And if whatever it is I don't want, I will then select as red. And also, obviously, in this little bit here. And that's it. So I'm going to compute it, compute the mask, and see what we got. Okay. Well, you know, that's not looking too bad at all. Let's have a look at what is being kept. Wow, that is not bad. It kind of looks weird here. Let me zoom in on this here, but it did keep the edge of the glass, which is quite good. And that's really what's important because like I said, well, I can fix it up. As you can see earlier, let's go back in the image, there is a distortion which is caused by the glass. Now you can either fix that yourself or keep the original. So, but anyway, we're here doing the, uh, the tutorial on how, how it is Topaz Remask worth it? Does it do its job? Let me just tie it up slightly. Like so. So by using this mask here, let me just zoom back out. Using this side here, I can see what hasn't actually been captured. Uh, the green brush tells the, tells the mask, I want to keep this. Okay, like so over here and the red brush says no I don't want to keep that and so like this over here now I don't actually have to go on it I just have to go near it and it'll judge that oh oh this is not what you want here is it okay well, it looks like they're here here is always going to be a problem now now remember I said to you about this glasses I'm going to show you how to fix that as well let's go back into one-on-one -on -one, zoom right in on those glasses okay and I'm going to go back into the original image okay so I'm going to use this here called the dual color selection. I'm going to select the glass, like so, and then I'm going to select what I don't want to keep, and then I'm just going to paint, like that. See how, see how it came back? It's not bad, is it? Let's just do that here again, and here again, and just like that. All right, and then I can just tidy it up a bit, like so, like so. Not too bad at all. So the glass came back, which is nice. But like I said, uh, the distortion is caused by the actual glass itself. So it kind of looks weird, but later on that'll be uh, fixed anyway. All right, that's not too bad. Like I said, this is a demonstration to see is Topaz Lab all that cracked up to be. And as you can see, 
I did the mask fairly quickly. The, the background's been removed. If I spend a little bit more time on it, I can get this really perfect. But hey, that's not what we're about, right? And I just press OK. So there you go, as you can see. All right, let, let me show you, once you apply it to something else, obviously it's not going to look as weird. So let me just zoom that out. Let's grab, I don't know, some, I already got something here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. This this man here is one of my clients, and he is the leading eye surgeon in Thailand. So I'm going to make him look cool. <laughs> Let me zoom out and fix this up a bit. I'm going to make him look hip. I'm going to show you another little cool plugin from uh, Topaz as well. All right, let's zoom back in on that. First of all, let me just do some minor adjustments on himself on the on the guy. Let me just, you know, shh, clean his teeth. <laughs> and see, i got a bit of a shine on his cheek. Let's get rid of that. I prefer to use the clone tool. That's a big brush. So I'm going to use the old key down. I'm going to move up, and that reduces the size of the brush. Right click, and then right click. Probably a bit here. There you go. Instantly, a lot of people will use the dodge and burn tool. I use the clone tool. It's, I find it much easier. And then remove some of this redness maybe in his face. I might get a... Uh, a new adjustment layer, grab some curves, and then pull that down slightly. Uh, probably overkilled it, and then move this up slightly. Okay, yeah, that looks better. See how I've got a bit of the red out, in that, red out of his cheek? And I'm going to show you another le neat little plugin. Let's zoom out of that. Uh, first, I'm going to have to flatten this image, so I'm going to control and highlight everything, click. Merge, flatten image. Okay, there you go. All right, so flatten the image, and now I'm going to show you. Like I said, I think I said that three times now. One more plugin. This is just a cool little plugin. I like it. It's called the Adjustment Five. And then you know, let's we let's do something hip with this dude. Look at that. Make him, <laughs> make him do. Here you go. That'll do. There you go. So uh, we went from uh, a boring uh, eye surgeon. <laughs> this dude here and then we transformed him into uh, something hip there you go so there you go my friends this is the topaz labs as you can see it done it pretty quick i done a reasonably job 90 percent of the job was done spot on so you probably spend a little bit of time just at making the slight adjustments oh yeah by the way i should show you this now the glasses see now the glasses doesn't look so bad it actually looks normal uh, even with the uh, distortion <laughs> So there you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of Topaz Remask 3. And as always, thanks for watching.